Hi, Brad. It's good to see you again. Um, hey. Uh, hey. The uh, Sounders uh, said that you're uh, coming home. Do you consider that to, to be accurate as, uh, as far as uh, you coming back to Seattle? Do you consider this home? Yeah, 100%. Um, uh, this place just, I don't know, it's just had like a special special place in my heart ever since I, I arrived here and um, going away from it. Um, it, was, it was quite upsetting. Um, and then being back home and, and it was, it was difficult and I always knew that I kind of wanted to come back and, um, there was a lot of th stuff that had to get worked out, but, um, I'm glad it all, um, got sorted in the end and super, super happy to be back. It, a lot's happened since we've seen you, <laughs> you know, in terms of the yeah. world and everything else that, you know, how's family and how's been the transition just to get back home, if you, if you would. Talk about yeah, that. actually, I had, actually had another little boy um, named wow. Jacob. So yeah, so two little boys now, and um, they're back in England. They're gonna stay um, stay there until the season finishes here. Obviously, because of all the COVID reasons and stuff like that, it'll be difficult for them to come over and quarantine and stuff. So um, they're gonna stay there, and uh, when the season finishes here, I'll go back and get them, and we'll turn, return here, ready to um, to call it home and, and be settled. And now we're all we're all super happy about it. And then, you know, getting back to the, I think Jada talked a little bit about this, getting back to, you know, playing with the Sounders again, how excited are you to, you know, join a team that's doing well and also bring the skill sets you have? Yeah, 100%. I've been uh, trying to watch all the games the best I could. Um, the time zones have been difficult, so it's been mostly highlights and stuff. But um, I've, like I said, it's a special uh, place uh -huh. in my heart. And I've always been watching, keeping tabs, and the team's been doing well. And for me to come back, I feel like I can – add what what I brought last time and um, hopefully uh, push for that push for a back-to-back -back MLS Cup. Thanks. Brad, uh, obviously welcome back. Um, how difficult of a decision was it for you to make to to choose to come back here and knowing that you weren't going to be able to bring the family with you right away and knowing that this pandemic it has really uh, shined a lot of the deficiencies within our, our environment here in the United States and knowing you had a, an opportunity to take care of your family where you were. Yeah, it's been difficult. I think the whole world has it's changed massively with all this. I think no one expected it, um, obviously. And it's been difficult. It was a difficult decision for us and because obviously we were comfortable there. We have a place there and stuff. So for us to move, we had to have a big, big conversation. But um, I was very happy here and, and, and my wife was happy here. And we feel like it'd be a great place for, for our kids to grow up for, for the next few years. So um, it was an easy decision in that aspect, but um, tough as well, just to, to think about logistics and stuff. But like I said, we're, we're all happy as a family. And um, when we're all back together and we moved out here, it'll be, it'll be great. Hey, Brad. Uh, uh, well, welcome back. I just kind of wanted to know what, what, what the extent of the, the contract is. How long uh, are you signed with, with the team? Uh, are we good to talk about that, Alex? Or? You don't have to answer it, Brad. It's okay. Nico, you can always just uh, reach out to me or Matt after we can clarify any of that. We can leave that to Garth to, to address a little bit later. Okay. Uh, in terms of this soccer wise, you know, how, how much have you grown or, uh, you know, how much have you changed uh, from the time you were here back in 2019 to today? Um, I would say not much, to be honest. Uh, I feel like it's, it's been about a year since, well, just under a year. So I don't think I've changed that much, obviously. I've grown up a bit having another child, but um, other than that, I've still got all the, the skill sets that I bring and, and I've been staying fit. And obviously I was at Cardiff. Game time was, was not ideal there, but I was training training every day and, and played when I got the chance. So um, I'm still fit and, and ready to go. But as far as your, um, avail availability, are you guys um, – or are you quarantining or when, when will you be able to join the team as far as training? Are you, are you in Seattle? Yeah, yeah I'm here now. Um, I got here yesterday. Um, in terms of quarantine and stuff, I think I want to stay away from, from the boys in the bubble for, for about 10 days. Um, I will be doing um, some training on my own um, with a couple of the coaching staff, but um, not the ones that are, that are in the bubble, um, just to stay away from them all and, and make sure that, if I did catch it, I'm going to be doing regular tests as well. So um, if I was caught on the way over, just to be safe and, and make sure it doesn't get in the camp. And um, But I'll be ready to go in about 10 days with the team. Brad, what was one of the deciding factors in, in swaying you to come back to, to the States? Um, well, there was other options in the States as well, but Seattle um, 
obviously special to me and I know I know the area I know all the people um and it was just it's just a big factor isn't it you know what I mean you, you know where you're going you know where you're going to live and um the people were so great here to me the fans were were amazing the fans never stopped um messaging me the whole <laughs> the whole year I was gone on Instagram Twitter and everything so they definitely played a, a huge part in me coming back as well it's such a great fan base and ever since it's been announced about an hour ago my phone doesn't stop blowing up so <laughs> great fan Hey, Al, or, uh, Brad, how long did it take for this uh, deal to come together? Obviously, the team had uh, kept uh, tag, a tag on you when you left. So just curious uh, how long this all took to, uh, to come together. Um, I think since I left, I, I, I was in contact with Adrian and, and I'm sure uh, Garth with my agent and stuff like that. So um, in terms of the length of it, it there have been talks for a while and it was just getting the, obviously with COVID and stuff, just getting logistic, logistics right and, making sure the deal was right, right for both parties. And um, yeah, so it was, it was a sort of long, short process, if you, if you say, but um, that's good, this all sorted. Any other questions for Brad? What are, or some, we, what, oh, okay, go for what are some of the things that you are looking forward to in terms of uh, adjusting to some of your new teammates and getting to know them, especially on the defensive line? Yeah, some of the players uh, left at um, the same time I did. So there's obviously uh, fresh players coming in and I've spoke, I was in contact with the boys the whole time, um, Jordan and Christian and stuff. So they would keep me tabs and telling me how the players are and stuff like that. So um, I think just coming into camp and, and getting a feel for the guys in the back line and um, obviously the team's been doing well. Um, so just getting a feel for it and, and um, integrating myself back into it. Brad, how do you kind of assess um, your journey? I mean, obviously very success successful in the MLS, um, but I mean, does that, is that to read that it, it wasn't good for you as far as in Cardiff and in, in uh, the Premier League? Sorry, I'm gonna mess up the pronunciations, but I mean, how do you, kind of, I mean, is it journeyman kind of a uh, thing or how do you kind of assess this uh, this process for you to get getting back here? Or your I think football is a, it's all about a journey and it's all, everyone has a different, different pathway. And, um, you can, you can talk to any football they have up and ups and downs. And look, I played, I played in the Premier League. It's the, it's the best league in the world. I played for Liverpool and stuff, my, my fan, fan club. And you can't say it, like, for me, that's, that's a true honor. And, um, just, it's just the journey that you, you take. And I came to Seattle on loan, not knowing what to expect. And I loved it. Um, and I decided to come back and, uh, I could have stayed in England, but, I wanted to, to come out here and, and be back with the Sounders family. I loved it. And then do you expect to um, compete for that position or get the starting spot again? Or how do you kind of look look at it as far as playing along the back line? Um, there's, there's great competition within the, within the squad. And, and there was last time. We just got to get back in there and, and, and show what I can do. And um, hopefully nail down the, the spot again. And uh, I'm just glad to be back. And can't wait to see all the boys. And... Um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be great. Hey, Brad. Welcome back. Hey. So happy to see you. Glad you're doing well. Um, I was just wondering if you've had any conversations with Schmetz or any of the other coaches of kind of what role they see you and kind of just adding to, to what Jada kind of just asked you. Um, not been in contact, direct contact with the coaches. Um, it's all been in, through my agent and I was in contact with Adrian um, throughout the process and <laughs> Um, I feel like it's not been that long and I feel, um, I feel like the role is going to be the same for me coming back in and um, being a part of the team. They, they know how, how great I am around the, around the place. Um, I love all the guys here and I feel like just getting back in and, and just integrating myself back into the squad and um, helping the team as, as much as possible. Thanks, Brad. Welcome back. Thank you. Hey, uh, Brad, it, it seems like... Uh... This has become a recurring theme for for the Sounders, where they bring players back uh, after they they've left the team. What is it about the the Sounders that that keeps attracting former players to to come back? I think it's a testament to the the club, the players, the the staff members have got around the place, and and the fans especially. I think as a whole, they they want you here. They make you feel loved, and I feel like that's what footballers want. You know, they want to feel special. They want everyone to like them. And, and to be honest, I, I like the American lifestyle and the team and, and everyone around it. So I feel like that's 
that's definitely a reason why players like to come back and they feel comfortable here and, and it's nice, nice environment. Brad, how much does Stephen Fry have to do with you coming back? Because he was a big advocate of you coming back. I believe he's over there charging 2% or something for your transfer. Uh, um, yeah, uh, like I said, I was in contact with the boys. Um, I spoke to Steph quite a bit and uh, he's been tweeting tweeting a few things saying he was going to get me back and he, he tweeted a bit before. So, um, nah, they're, they're all great guys and um, I, I missed them when I was away and can't wait for these 10 days to hurry up so I can so I can see everyone again. Hey, Brad, you worked with Victor Rodriguez down that left side so much last year. What do you look forward to working with, uh, if it is Jordan on that left side, you know, running up, and, and how can your speed best get uh, crosses and a lot of goals? Yeah, I feel like um, me and Victor worked really well together. Um, but then Jordan came in, and, and me and Jordan are, are very, very close friends. And I feel like that, that relationship can – can shine down the left side. He's on fire at the moment. And I feel like I can just add, add to that and help him um, while he comes inside. I get around the outside. And I feel like we, we had a great connection towards the end of the season last uh, last year when we won. So I feel like just, just come back in and, and repeating that with him.